a welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Apart. Today I'm so excited to be sharing with you this cleaning video. It is prepping for spring cleaning. So we all know we have spring cleaning that has to be done, but before I can tackle those huge areas, I really love just to give my house a deep clean on all the areas that just need to be clean, countertops, stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into it today. So if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. Now let's get to cleaning. Okay, we're gonna head on into my master bedroom. As you can see, my bed's already made, but I was filming this just a little bit later in the day and I don't like to leave it unmade. And then I'm just taking my jaws like window cleaner and my e-cloth rag. <laughs> Those are my two favorite things to clean with. And I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down my mirrored nightstands just cause they get super dirty and dusty and fingerprints. So basically today is just like cleaning up all those small areas that need to be cleaned either daily or weekly. So I'm prepping for spring cleaning. So spring cleaning to me is like focusing on just a few areas a day. I am going to break this up into like a part one and part two spring cleaning with me. Um, and I like to just focus on like six or seven or eight, however many areas you need to get done that day. But it's not about cleaning the entire house. It's like focusing on like deep clean on areas you've been neglecting or you only clean a few times a year. So I can't do that if I look over and my room's messy. So when I say prepping for spring cleaning, this is getting my house ready to go. So when I go to tackle one area, I look around and everything else is clean. So I can clean this one area that needs a deep clean, just really good and I'm not like distracted. Okay, while I'm working in here in my beauty room, you guys have seen this before, but I wanted to let you guys know that we're actually filming a behind the scenes cleaning video of this video. So if you see me talking to myself, I'm actually talking to Chase because he is vlogging it for you guys. So I kind of go over, you know, how I get my angles, how I prep for it, how I plan for it. So if you're interested in seeing this video, just like the real and raw footage and me explaining what I'm doing of this exact same video you're watching, this is like the after the before is going to be over on our vlog channel tomorrow morning. So make sure you're subscribed to Ashley and Chase. I'm going to have that link down below in my description box, but we have been getting so many requests for that. We did one early on, probably about a year, year and a half ago, and you guys really seem to enjoy it so definitely check that out tomorrow morning okay let's talk clothes because I always get a lot of questions about my clothes and my capsule wardrobe and my jeans so these jeans are from Ross I bought about three pairs they're all similar like this from Ross and they're only like $15.99 to $17.99 they have a ton out right now I love them for their jeans I tend to go over to the junior section and you can just size up if you need to but definitely save some money and just go there and go shopping um, my clothes I talk about more in last Friday's vlog over on the Ashley and Chase channel as well so if you're missing that definitely go over there and start watching those it's everything not cleaning related for you guys it just kind of helps break up these cleaning videos over here on this channel but I talk about how many hangers I have um, my pieces how I shop and all that and it's not sponsored um, I just always get all those questions so I put it in that video for you guys now I'm going to start the laundry because that always needs to be caught up. Um, I'm just grabbing my dirty clothes out of the bathroom. I've been throwing them on the floor. I used to have a really cute basket in here for my laundry and then I used it in the living room for some blankets so I need to find a new one. I could use that little basket anywhere so I just need more like it. But I keep our main laundry basket in Chase's closet in our master bedroom so I'm just going to throw it in there and then head on to the laundry room to go ahead and get a load started. We make Okay. 
So as far as laundry goes, I do Chase's and mine laundry together, and then I do Savannah's separate, and then the towels separate. So we basically have like three different loads, and I try to just do one load a day because when I don't do that, laundry just seems to grow into a huge mountain. But if I'll just do one small load a day, it's no big deal. Um, I just can stay on top of it easier, but I know we're busy, and some days I just don't have time to get to it, and I don't want to leave it in the washer if I'm going to be gone, and I do not leave my dryer on when I leave the house. I've had too many friends that their houses have burnt down or they've had house fires so definitely do not leave your dryer on if you're gonna leave your home Okay, now I'm gonna head into Savannah's room. Yes, we have a baby gate there. It keeps George out just so he doesn't chew up any of her little toys or American Girl doll stuff. So, um, you guys don't see me clean her room too often. We have recently started a chore chart for her and she keeps up with a lot of this even before the chore chart. Um, she did really well just keeping her room clean, but occasionally when she's gone, I like to just go in there and kind of clean it just to surprise her. There's nothing better than like coming into a nice smelling room. But like I said, she had done most of it. She doesn't really do like the wipe down like I'm doing. I'll go in there and do that, but she does make her bed and keeps everything in its home and she will vacuum once a week. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just start putting her decor back on her dresser. Um, I have to be very particular with this because she likes things a certain way. She is definitely the decorator of her own room and if I move something, she will know. Um, but she had created this little board that said, be happy, not sassy. And I just thought that was so sweet and such a good reminder. I think all of us need to hear that occasionally, don't we? <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down these doors. They do get a little dirty just with a little girl's fingerprints since they're white, but they're really easy to clean. So I'm just gonna wipe down the doors real fast and then that table next to her bed. Once I'm finished in her bedroom, I'm gonna go ahead and go into our living room. Um, it was just a little dirty in here from the dogs. We like to keep blankets out while we're gone and we had been running errands before this. Um, just to help with the fur and George's little nails just kind of mess up the sofa sometimes. Not too bad, but it's just easier to have blankets on there while we're gone. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold those back and then I'm gonna put them on our floor in our bedroom. They like to take little naps over here by the fireplace, which I think is so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lay it down there so it's nice and fluffy. And then I'm gonna come back and grab the other blanket. I just don't like the house looking messy when I'm there and they can lay on the sofa. I don't care when we're at home, but I just keep moving those blankets and you can see Tiger was not happy with me as usual when I move him off his blanket, but you guys, he's fine. He can sleep on a bed, the sofa, he can come lay on the blanket in our bedroom. And now I'm just gonna fluff up the sofa. Um, this used to handle a lot better, but George lays on these cushions like he's a seven pound Yorkie and he is not. So I just find myself fluffing these a whole lot more often now. I know you guys have seen me vacuum the sofa a lot, but just now with George, I have to. He's still losing that puppy coat. I can't wait for us to get past a year and year and a half just to see if it's gonna slow it down any. 
but I don't mind vacuuming it anyways just because I'm learning I love the vacuum lines on the sofa. I used to not ever do that. Um, I would vacuum it occasionally, but not a ton just because Tiger doesn't shed. But now that I've seen the vacuum lines on there, I'll probably always do this just because it makes it look so clean and crisp. I don't know. It's just like vacuum lines on your carpet. It just looks so good. It looks so good when the rug's vacuumed and the sectional's vacuumed. I don't know. I just love the way it makes me feel. Okay, now I'm gonna work on our coffee table. We sit at this a lot. We have game night here. We eat lunch here sometimes and watch a show together. So it just gets crumbs on it or just snacks because we'll sit here and have popcorn or chips. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a good wipe down. I do get a lot of questions about this piece. It's just from Facebook Marketplace. I paid $15 for it and we just painted it to make it look fresh and fit into our house. So I love that piece. And then if you guys have followed me for a little while, you'll see this dresser. I changed out the knobs. I've had this dresser a little while, but we bought it off Craigslist for $35 and it had a pretty black handles on it, but they were kind of busy. And I decided to go ahead and order some gold long handles like the ones in our kitchen. And I love the way it turned out. I just feel like it simplified it and it just looks so much more modern now. Okay, now that I have my diffuser on, I can get back to cleaning and I'm gonna head into my kitchen. I just cannot do candles anymore. I have to be so careful. Scents are just really getting to me. I've noticed lately, even some of our laundry soaps and detergents have just, if it's too strong, I can smell it and I get a headache just from like the shirt I'm wearing. So I definitely just have to be careful with scents. But now I'm gonna go ahead and load the dishwasher real fast. And then I do have a few items that I try to hand wash. So I'm gonna work on those as well. I'm still loving these pots and pans. I always get a lot of questions about them and you guys always want me to link them. They go out of stock a lot and I'm trying to watch for them to go on sale. I bought them on Black Friday for like $75 for the set, but right now they're like $300. So I know they'll drop again, even if it's next Black Friday, but I'm hoping there'll be some holiday they drop. And if they ever do, I'll let you guys know here and over on Instagram, um, I'll do a swipe up for them. Now I'm gonna work on just scrubbing out my sink. It was actually really dirty. I don't think I'd done it in a while. Um, I had also picked up this new Method um, dish soap and I am loving it. I bought it just because of the packaging. It totally sold me. It's white and gray. I love the shape of it. So I thought, oh my gosh, I have to try this out. I found it from Target. They even have like the matching hand soaps to go with it. So if you guys haven't seen their new packaging, definitely check it out. Um, it's cleaning really well, so I'm super happy with it. to express yourself in your own way. 
Now I'm gonna work on just drying all of this stuff off and making sure it's nice and clean. It does get wet over here just being by the sink. And it's just focusing on cleaning things that don't take long that you can get done quickly because I feel like spring cleaning are projects that just take a little bit longer, a little bit more work and effort. And that's why we only do it during the spring or winter. Um, so my focus is just to get all those little tasks done that don't take much but need to be done. So I am really good about wiping my countertops down daily and multiple times a day, but I cannot tell you the last time I've actually taken everything off the counters and wiped it down, which I know is sad. I'll like shimmy it one way and then the other, but I haven't like taken everything off. It hasn't been since like my last kitchen cleaning video probably, or the last time you see me do it on camera. So since this is something easy and simple to do, I'm gonna go ahead and just move everything to my island and go ahead and get those countertops wiped off really well. I always get asked what like my favorite cleaning products are and I'm going to be talking about them really soon in some of my spring cleaning videos but you guys already know about them. I love my e-cloth rags. I've been using them since before I was even on YouTube, even before I knew what YouTube was. I love my jaws cleaners. I found those here on YouTube but I use those every single day in my house. And then I have a thieves cleaner that a subscriber sent me and I love that. I love the smell of it. Um, so those are like the three products that I always use in my house and my bathrooms. I love to use Dollar Tree products. Um, so I don't change out my products too much, but when I find ones I love, I love to keep them and use them and I just sporadically change it up. I feel like it makes cleaning fun. Sometimes I grab my jaws, sometimes I grab my e-cloth, sometimes I grab my thieves. I don't have a rhyme or reason to it. I just grab some Something that I haven't used lately just for a different smell in the house and I just feel like it keeps cleaning like fresh and new. You cut me loose and set me free. You make me win in every way. You show me how to spread my wings. Yes, I'm the winner of the day. You cut me loose and set me free. You make me win in every way. You show So like I mentioned earlier, we were filming a behind the scenes of this video and I thought this clip was funny because if you look in my microwave, you can see Chase filming me. So if you guys want to see that footage and hear just what we're saying and laughing about, I kept trying to keep a serious face because I knew this video was going up first and it's just like a normal clean with me. But behind the scenes, he was talking to me and we were saying different things. So definitely do not forget to watch that video tomorrow and just make sure you're subscribed to both channels just because we put so much content out. It's all cleaning on this channel, but there's so much more of us on our other channel. So definitely make sure you're subscribed to both. Now I'm headed into our dining room just to go ahead and wipe this down. We do eat at our table a lot, so I'm just getting the crumbs off of it. And then if you guys didn't see my last video, I have a new desk over there. I actually paid 30 bucks for it and then I redid it and I have a whole video showing everything we did. And we only had to put $35 into it. It was super easy and I promise you if I can do it, you can do it. So if you missed that video, definitely make sure to go back and watch it because it's a really good one.
Now I'm gonna head into my laundry room and go ahead and switch that load of laundry. I will say my washer's gotten pretty dirty lately. I have not been good about cleaning it, so that's actually on the spring cleaning list. I have two lists going, so like I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna do a spring cleaning part one and part two. Um, I also have how to fake a clean house coming up. I just feel like there's so many videos I wanna get out to you guys. It's so hard to find time just to film and edit along with my vlog channel, but definitely have some fun content coming your way. Just got one thing on my mind. Uh-huh, baby, one day I'm hoping that you will be mine. Turn my life around. So I'm really loving this new rug so far. First off, it's like the biggest one we owned and I love how it made the space feel. But secondly, it's like the thinnest one I've owned. I normally get like really plush ones and they are so hard to vacuum. And when they're not vacuumed, they just look dirty. I love this rug that it really doesn't show vacuum lines. It does a little bit, but what's nice is even if I haven't vacuumed it, you can't tell. It still looks super nice. It's got enough of a pattern that it hides dirt really well because you guys know I like my light colored rugs and we have a George which just doesn't mix well but since it's got that light pattern in it it's not too busy that it drives me crazy but it's just enough that it hides um, dirt or anything so I've been super super happy with that I have the link down below in my description box if I have a coupon code I'll leave it there with you um, so you guys can check it out but it's just boutique rugs I also get a lot of questions about the rugs in my dining room you'll see that here in a little bit it used to be the one in my living room but that one's from Ross. So I feel like you can find great rugs. You just have to be super careful because rugs can be so expensive. So don't overpay for one. So it's been a while since I've taken off these chairs and actually vacuumed like underneath the rug. I just don't know. I got out of the habit. I was spring cleaning coming. I just don't mind going a little bit extra effort, but I've got to get in a better routine of moving this just because the back door's right here. So the dogs run in here or they like to lay underneath the table. Um, it looked clean. It wasn't like it was super dirty, but we all know that things just hide in those rugs, especially since we eat there. So I've got to be better about doing that. I used to do it like every other week. So it's all about getting a good routine when you have a routine your house stays so clean um, I think it's just like working out if you have a really good workout routine you're good you know when you're waking up when you're going what you're eating cleaning's the same way if you just get a really good realistic routine for you your house is gonna function so much better So I always get told I'm cleaning a clean house. I'm cleaning a decluttered house, but I just wanted to show you this up close that from far away, my house looks clean, but up close, it's really not. Like the camera doesn't show you unless I'm like putting it right on it. But just because my house looks clean does not mean it is clean. And that kind of goes back how to fake a clean house. I think I'm the master of it. And I think you guys think my house is spotless all the time, but it is not. <laughs> you cannot have two dogs and a kid and it be spotless all the time. I just fake it really well and I keep things decluttered so it doesn't look messy. But I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up by vacuuming. Once again, here's another angle. If you look at those floors, they are not clean in any way, I promise. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now I'm going to head back into my master bedroom and go ahead and vacuum the floors. So sometimes I save the vacuuming for the very end of cleaning um, and I do it all at once. Sometimes I like to do it room by room. Sometimes I'm in the mood just to clean an entire room, get it vacuumed and be done with it. Once again, I feel like I have a few routines um, that work for me and I just like to switch it up sometimes just to keep it fresh. If you did the same thing over and over and over, I think you'd eventually tire. So have a few different routines that works for you. Then whatever mood you're in, you just kind of go with it and it works. Now I'm gonna head into my beauty room and vacuum here as well. And as you can see, it's super easy. I think that's one of the perks of the cordless vacuum. I'm not having to like unhook it, find a place to plug it in, move the cord I'm not like dancing around the cord it's just super easy and super calming just to walk from space to space and vacuuming it really quick Okay, now I'm gonna get my mop ready to go. And once again, I've been using this mop forever. I'm sure I'll be talking about it soon, um, but it's just so easy. If you keep cleaning products and um, tools in your house that just make it easy to clean, then you're more likely to do it. All I have to do is wet this mop head, wring it out a little bit, and then mop. I'm not filling up a bucket. I'm not plugging in a mop. I'm not having to do any of that. Um, if it takes too much time, you're not gonna do it as often. But if it literally just takes me a few seconds to go and grab my mop, get the mop heavy wet and mop, you're more likely to do it every day or every other day or whatever works for you once a week. But just learning a good routine and something, you know, getting the tools and just stuff in your life that makes life simple, not even for cleaning, just in life. Just start to simplify your life and I promise you it'll be so much easier. So this is kind of just how I prep my house before spring cleaning. It can just be your normal cleaning routine. It's just getting all those areas freshened up and ready to go so you can focus on those deep hard areas that have to get done. I just feel like it makes you more focused. You're less like ADD and like, oh, but now I need to go clean up the coffee table or oh, I need to run in here and put the dishes away. If you just get it all nice and clean, then the next day you can go ahead and start your spring cleaning routine. And I promise you, it just kind of keeps you more focused and more grounded so you can pay attention to those harder tasks. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget that tomorrow on our vlog channel, we're gonna be sharing the behind the scenes of this video. He's filming it right now and you guys don't wanna miss it, especially if you're like an up and coming YouTuber or you're wanting to break into YouTubing or if you're just kinda nosy and wanna see what happens behind the screen. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, this is just the beginning of this spring cleaning series. I have so many fun, cool videos coming your way. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel and our vlog channel so you don't miss all the videos we put out for a week. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.